Hey guys, CodyBall3 here, and welcome to episode 15 of 1001 million in one month. And before we get started, if you want to buy or even sell some Ultimate Team coins, go check out fifautonline.com. They are a cheap and reliable service, and a link to their website will be in the description below. So if you want your Ultimate Team coin needs fulfilled, go check them out and click that link in the description. Anyways, we start off this episode with some trading, and this was indeed a night trading session that I had last night and it took me about I think about four or five hours to pick up all these pairs it was a very long kind of drawn out uh, trading session it just felt as if there wasn't that many players up in the market and it felt like the market was kind of going dead compared to I suppose the last couple of nights that I was trading where it seemed like there was a lot of players but there was obviously a lot of people trading but last night it just seemed really dead but there was still them traders around so I picked up some decent deals here and there players prices that's the one thing I'm noticing right now especially since it's coming to the end of FIFA 13 players prices are fluctuating it's mainly due to the fact that they're just isn't as many of the cards up on the market and it's just it's swaying the price of players up and down especially the likes of a uh, silver team of the seasons or in forms because there's so few on the market you can nearly set your own price and that's what i've done with a couple of players especially blind and i picked them up it was either in the last episode or the episode before and there's literally only one on the market sometimes it, there was actually none on the market when i list that one so i was like hey i can set the price he's quite a popular in form as well and same thing with nick romando i picked him up for 66 and a half thousand but there was only one other on the market and it was going for something ridiculous like 130,000 or something so I just I popped it up for obviously a lot cheaper than that and if anyone wanted to go build a uh, MLS team or a United States team and they wanted Romando they're going to get that second in form they're going to pick him up but uh, yeah that was that trading session made quite a few good deals but I'm actually one game away from winning division two and the prize for that is 10,000 coins and I'm pretty much nearly on the brink of finishing this series in terms of reaching my target of 1 million I figured one game to get 10k why not this will be my last game of uh, of this series and with this team and I do start off quite well Emenike breaks through his last line of defense and scores with a nice goal there to make it 1-0 and the onslaught was just put into full flow here again Emenike with the goal he's just been so good him and Eto are amazing they're so overpowered they score so many goals between the two of them and obviously they are quite pace horish uh pace horish and uh, yeah they're just but they're unbelievable like i just love playing with this russian Premier league team and that non-rare uh i suppose back line them three center backs are just they're fantastic like the tackles they put in they're they are quite pacey to be fair i think all of them do indeed have over 70 pace but uh, they're just absolutely superb. So one player I actually really want to try out is Team of the Season Bocchetti. Because I love him in this team. And I just figured, what does he have? Something like 80 odd pace. Maybe it's uh, 80 pace on the dot with his Team of the Season. But I would love to try him out. Because he looks like he is incredible. If you've tried him out... Let me know what he's like in the description uh, or in the description below, in the comments section below. But you see here after 7-0, and I don't understand why he did this. He waited till the 89th minute to quit, and obviously it affects his DNF modifier. You see the stats there, I had 24 shots with 20 on target. He didn't have one shot on target and only one in the whole game. But that does mean six wins from six games, and we are on 18 points, which means we win the title. We get 10,000 coins plus the match coins, which is, I don't know, something like 650 coins. And we're going to finish the episode off by taking a look at what the price uh, the players prices that they sold for I kind of got mixed up there anyway Sergu sold for 49,250 which gave us a profit of 7,788 coins Romando I list for 80k and he was actually snapped up within about 15 minutes that gives a profit of nine and a half thousand after tax got to sold on for 88k we picked him up for 76,000 which gives a profit of 7,600 Alaba we picked up for 161,000 sold on for 180k giving us a profit of 10k on the dot next up was was a hazard who we picked up for 34,000 he was a left midfield hazard which goes for that bit more and we sold him on for 42k which gives a profit of 5,900 after tax Marquisio sold on for 140,000 in that CDM 352 uh, position and a lot of you guys are going to look and be like hey he's got a 433 on his card there Coolie what's going on 
Uh, that is just what happens. It's a glitch in the game. It's either that the other person has changed its formation or just something like that. I do not know, but I do get asked that quite a bit in the comment section below. He gave us a profit of 15,000 Marquisio. Blind, we were able to set the price on him at 80k. We made 22,500 coin profit off him, which was amazing. It was the best of this episode. Aguero gave us a profit of 5,663. Mangala gave us a profit of 10k on the dot. And Hazard, last but not least, gave us a profit of 3,950. And in total from that that trading session we made a profit of 97,901 and we are on the brink of reaching a million so many people told me Coley Bo, you're not going to reach a million. About a week or so ago, I was on 300k. And you know what? I doubted myself at that point. 300k, I was thinking, you know what? 11th of July is when I've got to get a million by. And I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I will do it. You'll see there, I picked up a second informed Lampard as well. He goes for about 62 to 65,000. I said I'd list him up for 65k. And that will finish off the episode. I'm going to wait for him to sell. And remember, I've also got my Russian Premier League team to sell, which I picked up at an absolute bargain because I got them all on bids and... Uh, yeah, I was pretty much trading with that team. And I've also got my bronze team to sell, so it'll put me there or thereabouts. Maybe one or two more trades needed after that. But yeah, that is it for this episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. Remember, over a 1,000 likes on this episode means that I will be releasing the trading techniques that I've used to make 700k in about a week, uh, which has been absolutely insane. So get liking right now. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to my channel and I will see all you mofos next time. Get a thousand likes. There's probably only going to be maybe about two, three more episodes. So if each one of them reaches a thousand likes, I will release the two trading methods after I finish the series. So yeah, get liking the video is pretty much what you got to do. This is a very short episode, but it has...